A woman who says her airbag didn't deploy when she had a head-on crash. And her attorney says this was not an isolated incident. Six automakers have been, have been named in the lawsuit. And we want to warn you that the images you're about to see are graphic. The photos are difficult to look at. A jagged laceration across Patricia McClanahan's forehead. It took 35 stitches to sew her up. I'm lucky to be alive. McClanahan lost control of her 2015 Kia Forte last April and smashed into a cinder block wall. Her airbag did not deploy. You're in a state of shock and disbelief uh, that something like this could happen. This month, a class action lawsuit was filed in LA County alleging that what happened to McClanahan is not an isolated event. The suit named six automakers, Kia, Hyundai, Fiat, Chrysler, Mitsubishi, Honda, and Toyota, accusing them of an egregious breach of public trust for concealing a deadly airbag defect in 12.3 million U.S. cars. These numbers are staggering. It's large, and I don't think we're, we're done. I actually think we're just getting started. Jonathan Michaels is one of the attorneys representing the plaintiffs in the suit. He says that issue is the vehicle's airbag control system. And at the point of impact, the airbag control unit tells the airbag to deploy and the seatbelt to lock. And what is happening in these cars is the airbag control unit is defective. And so it's not deploying the airbags or locking the seatbelt at the point of impact. The suit also claims that internal NHTSA, or National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, documents show that some of the automakers knew of the problems with the airbag control system as early as 2011. Michael says they haven't acted because it would be costly to do so. The cost to replace the airbag control unit is about $1,000 per unit. Well, if you have 12.3 million vehicles out there, the recall costs are absolutely staggering. I mean, we're looking at something that could be in excess of a billion dollars to do a recall. McClanahan has also filed a lawsuit alleging negligence, design and manufacturing defect and breach of warranty. I trusted that car. I thought it was safe. The class action lawsuit covers automobile models ranging from 2010 to 2019. So we believe that there are cars today that are sitting on dealers' lots that have this defective unit. Two on your side reached out to all six automakers. Kia, Jeep, Hyundai, and Honda responded. Kia and Honda wouldn't comment due to the pending lawsuit, but both Jeep and Hyundai say the issue was resolved with past recalls. But NHTSA has confirmed that it's expanded its investigation into all makes and models containing the airbag control unit in question, meaning more recalls could be necessary. Someone will die next week, next, next month, because of one of these defects. And, and that, that is preventable. So how can you know if your car has this type of airbag control unit? Well, there's a list of the makes and models named in the lawsuit on our website, cbsla.com.